Hello everybody and welcome to another QML tutorial. In our last tutorial we had discussed signals and slots and using them to expose that to QML. And in this tutorial we're going to discuss enums. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to create an enum here and we're going to call it type and we're going to set some of the things. One of them is going to be reader, the other one is going to be write. So let's expose that now to QML, and to do this we simply type in QProperty and the enum, so file reader type, and we'll call the property type, and we need to expose it, so we'll say QEnums file enums whoops type <laughs> and this needs to be file reader okay now let's make some getters and setters so file reader type of type and we'll make our setter here void uh, set type Type and pass in the type. Next, we'll make our signal. Type changed. Next, we will do our in our private. We'll declare an M type. So file reader type M. Okay, now let's start refactoring these. Right click, refactor, and we'll say return m type. Switch back over to our header, and in our setter, we will set the type. So we'll say if m type is equal to type, add some curly brackets for this one, we'll say return else I will make uh, we'll do a switch statement we'll say switch the type and if it is read then set m type to be equal to read In case it's right Type is now going to be equal to write. Break our case statement, and we don't need a default for this one. But since we now have set that, we can now emit that it's changed because we know it's not the same. So type changed. All right, cool. So I'm pretty sure you guys know where I'm going with this, where I'm going to make it so that we can read and write to this file. Um, so we need some incoming text. So we will make that. Q property, uh, Q string, incoming, and let's make our getters and setters. Q string, incoming, our setters, void, set, in coming, constant, q, string, and in coming. Okay, let's make our signal that it's changed, void, in coming, has now changed, and in our, oh, forgot our curly bear, or I'm sorry, our semicolon. Now in here, let's say Q string M incoming. Whoa. Okay, so let's refactor these now. Right click, refactor, add, return. M incoming. 
switch over and our setter for set, setting the incoming message will be now if m incoming is equal to incoming then return else m incoming is now going to be equal to the incoming and we will emit that incoming has in fact changed. All right, so how are we going to use this? Uh, in our reader. Okay, so we're going to change this right here to be called exec, like execute, and let's change that in our header before we forget. Okay, now let's go back over to that function. And in here, what we're going to do is we're going to say if m type is equal to read, then do all of this, which we have already done. Else, if m type is equal to write, then what we're going to do is, is we're going to write to the file. So we'll copy this stuff right here, and we'll paste it in here. But we're going to say QIO device needs to be write only, and the Q text stream, and we're going to call it out instead of in, and we don't need the while loop or the any of that. And we take out that extra curly bracket, and we'll say out and pass in the M incoming. Okay, let's clean this function up. Okay, so now we've set up our enums and we're going to use them here in our execute statement. So let's go back over to main.cpp and instead of read file, let's just call it q file because it's now reading and writing. So in our main.qml, I've gone ahead and I've created uh, a text area with a column and a button and so on and so forth. And I've imported Qt Quick controls. I removed the mouse area. So underneath read file, we now need to change this to be Q file. Right? And let's go ahead and copy the Q file and make the writer. Now we could do some other things, but for sanctity of simplicity, let's just do this writer. Okay, we don't need on text changed. Okay, so now we're going to use our enums now. We're going to say type is equal to q file dot write. Okay, and then in here, what we're going to do is we're going to say type q file dot read. Now, we're going to say, when this thing's completed, so component on completed, we're going to say, give it two curly brackets, we're going to say basically reader dot execute, and then we'll set the foobar text to say uh, uh, foobar text to the output of the reader. Okay, and now we have this button right here for save file. So after it's been loaded and everything like that, if we want to save the file, all we have to do is say now writer, uh, writer incoming. So the incoming text is now equal to foobar dot text, and we need to execute that writer dot execute. Okay, so that's all that there is to it. So let's save this. I'm sure there's a syntax error somewhere. Let's save this and run it. Unable to define undefined property. So let's go check out what that is. 46. Uh, Q file read type. Okay, um, let's take a look here. Go over here like this, and let's make sure we have our Q enum type. So we want the whole type coming in. Um, set type file reader and type file reader and type. This can just be type also too. Save and run. Okay, 
So we load it in our text. Now let's take this out right here and let's um, let's actually just uh, say here right here uh, let's actually just close that so it doesn't save and we will run that again and we'll go down to the bottom of this and where it says works what we're going to do is say this is some text to save and now press save go back over here and what do you know it now says it wants to reload because it's been saved outside of there if we go and look right here this is some text so on and so forth we can make our spelling error correct Yay! So we now have a reader and a writer. So let's uh, do a thing here. Let's go back over to main and let's take this type out completely and see what happens. Let me save, compile, and run this. You'll see that it doesn't read it in, right? So that's bad. So we need to fix that, right? So what we can do is, is in our file reader.cpp, all the way at the top of our file, we can set our default property for our M type. We can set that to be read. Save compile, run, and it gets it automatically. And we can make sure that it still writes. And does it write? Cool. Well,